Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Manti here, and today I'm bringing you another app script tutorial. So today we are going to be focusing on the if statement. Now the if statement is a crucial component in any scripting or programming language. It allows you to compare two or more things and run one block of code based on the output or run a different one. So let's jump right in. So we are going to compare two variables to start off. So let's just set our variables first, so I'm going to set var. 1, 2, let's just make this a number, so I'm going to set this to 1. So I'm going to set var2 to 2. Now we are going to compare our two variables. So I want to check if var1 is equal to var2. So do this using the if statement. So let's go down to another line, then write if var1 equals var2, then... Now here is where we are going to write our code that we want to run if var1 is equal to var2. So I'm going to alert, actually no, display alert, var1 is equal to var2. Now this is, we're going to write else down here, we're going to go down, and this is the code we want to run if var1 does not equal var2 or if this statement returns false. So else display alert var1 is not equal to var2, set face. Finally, we need end if. Now this is crucial, so, you know, between this is what we want to run. If we don't have an end if, we'll just keep running all the code down here, and if, if we don't want it to run after our if statement. So let's run our program. var1 is not equal to var2, because 1 is not equal to 2. So let's change this to 1, and we're going to run. var1 is equal to var2. So there's more things you can do than just equals. You can do not equals, so slash equals, run. Var1 is not equal to var2. Now this is misleading, so uh, how do I word this? Basically we're checking if var1 is not equal to var2, var1 is stu. not, and then equal to. Our stuff is up here. So basically, we're going to check if var1 is not equal to var2, so if 1 is not equal to 1, you want to run var1 is not equal to var2, but since 1 is equal to 1, we're going to get var1 is equal to var2. And there you go. So there's equal to, there's also less than, if that is less than, if less than, var1 equal to, is less than, just get rid of this math face altogether, not less than. Run. Var1 is not less than. So let's change this to var1 is 0. So this is less than 1. Var1 is less than var2. Greater than. This will turn false. We're going to see var1 is not less than var2. There's greater than or equal to. So let's just change this to 1. Var1 is less than or equal to. I should add. Or there is less than or equal to. Bam. Now, as you can see, after you compile your AppScript code, AppScript will take your sign right here and change it into this sign. Just something uh, cool to notice, you know, very helpful. I like it a lot. But you can also do this instead of doing equals, you can do is equal to. So, I prefer to use signs because it's less code. To me, it's easier to read, but you can use is equal to, is not equal to, is not less than or hmm, excuse me that was wrong less than equal than or you know you can do everything like that so you can pretty much use words in place of symbols but i prefer to use symbols it's just your script occur of course so you can do whatever you want but you can also compare more than one thing so if var ones do var one is equal to var two and now there's an and and or operators and i'll take these two conditions so if this condition returns true and then this condition returns true run this code else run this code or means if this condition returns true or if this condition returns true run this code so i'm going to start off with and so if var1 is equal to var2 and let's just create you know what yeah let's create some new variables var3, set var3, car3, var3, 2, let's just make this 3, set var4, 
4 to 4 and var 3 does not equal var 4 then so we're going to check if var 1 is equal to var 2 so if 1 is equal to 1 and 3 is not equal to 4 so var 1 is less than var 2 I should really change this but you get the idea so let's just change this to 3. So 3 is equal to 3, so this is going to return false, so this entire statement will turn false, so we're going to run this else statement right here. So we get var1 is not less than var2, which of course, you know, is all screwed up, but whatever works. So you can do and, and, and as many times as you want, or you can use the or operator, so or. So if either one of these returns true, we're going to run this, so let's just make this one false. So this statement here is going to return false, but this one is going to return true if we changed it to this. Okay, but if both of these return false, so let's just change this back to 3. We return false, and var1 is not less than var2. So we can also um, have else if statement. So else if. So we can keep going down the line, so if this returns true, you're on this. Else if this returns true on this and keep going down the line till we get a true statement or if everything returns false we can just have an else statement at the very end so else if let's just get rid of this make our code a little more tidy equals to so this is going to return false in the beginning so we're not going to run this we're going to go to this and check else if var 3 is equal to var 4 run this code then let's have one final else statement else nothing we want to display alerts. Nothing returned true. So let's run this. Var1 is not less than var2 because we return false for this and return true for this. Now let's have this return true. Even though this will return true, we're going to check this first. So var1 will become equal to var2 and we return this right here. Now let's just make most of these statements false and we're going to run nothing returned true. So that's pretty much everything for the if statement. Let's just do a quick recap. You can compare things in if statement. So if var equal to var, whatever. You can slash equals, it's not equal to, greater than, equal to, greater than, less than, equal to, less than. You can use and blocks, so we can check if x equal to x and y equal to y, or you can use or. There we go, if I can get this right. The else statement at the end of this will check, will run code if this does not return true. You can run else if, so you can keep going down the line checking statements till you get to something true. Have the end if at the end of all of your statements, so it tells Apple Script that you're done with your if statement. You need then up here. I know, very weird. Um, ignore that. <laughs> what are you doing? Request your software to get out. And. That's about it. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.